What's up guys? It's Nick B and I'm back with another review video. I guess, um, well, I thought I'd put a face to the name, you know, make it a bit more personal and um, change things up a little bit. So anyways, today we'll be looking at uh, Hot Toys uh, Tracker Predator from the movie Predators. Probably my favorite Predator movie. It's between that and AVP. I'm kind of torn between the two. But I'd probably give the edge to Predators because it's uh, not only is it newer, but I don't know. I just, I love the movie. So I had to get the figures. What can I say? Yeah, it's a uh, Hot Toys disease. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, we'll be looking at this bad boy today. And I know he, uh, he's been out for a while, you know, but I myself am pretty new to the 1-6 game. Uh, I started collecting in January, you know, so, um, so this is my take, my, uh, what I think about this figure, my views my review, and I uh, hope you all enjoy. So, oh, before I go, well, I'm not going for now, but <clears throat> I got to give a shout out to um, Second Name, a.k.a. Al AKA Alex from Sideshow Freaks, who sent me this figure. He sent me this and uh, Falconer on Thursday. So I just want to give a big shout out to him. Much love, my brother, for the great price, the great hookup. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the review. I hope it's informative. I hope it's educational. But most importantly, I hope you enjoy it. All right, so let's go. What's up, guys? Here we have the box of the um, for the Tracker Predator of the movie Predators. And the box is made of two parts. Um, there's the outer sleeve and uh, the box on the, the inner box. So we'll take a look at the outer sleeve right now. And first up, I just want to say um, I love this design. I love the layout and um, the way it captures the movie. It just captures the theme of the movie Predators. You know, if you've watched the movie, you'll know what I'm saying. You know, so um, you take a look at the finer details of life. Um, so, of course, it's a um, movie masterpiece series. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying to get focused here. iPhone camera. Not the best at times. And um, the Hot Toys logo produced and manufactured by none other than Hot Toys. Okay, now I love the graphic, um, the graphic right here on the box, it's really nice, really amazing, it's like, a, it's kind of like a camo kind of, um, like, different watermarks, I guess, it really looks nice, and it just gives you that jungle vibe, you know, because the movie did take place in the jungle, kind of a, a wild um, feel to it. And uh, that's here we have the Predators uh, the movie uh, logo, Predators, and um, and that's Tracker Predator. That's who we're looking at. That's who we're reviewing. Now, I really, I'm really digging this infrared backdrop. You know, and it's a clear, um, it's like a clear sheet covering the inner box so it's yeah so it's infrared just like the uh the infrared beam on the tracker the predators uh mask which is synonymous with all the predators they all have the infrared beam on their helmets which help them uh aim and merc as we all know and in the background we have a uh, tracker himself now this is an actual picture from the movie character it's not the hot toy 
and I'll show you why. But yeah, it's an actual tracker predator from the movie, which is pretty cool. Pretty awesome. All right. So that's the front of the box. Uh, let's take a look at the top. So now the top is uh, just has the logo predators. So it's pretty simple. Nothing too uh, fancy. And if we take a look at the side of the box, the side is pretty simple too. You know, it's got the just the graphic. Um, and also the, the details. Uh, the description collector's edition MMS 147 wow MMS, wow 147 that's that's a while back cuz I know like whiplash that's coming out that's like I think MMS 130 236 so yeah this was made a while back we've made like probably like a hundred uh, hot toys since then a hundred MMS figures it's pretty, it's pretty crazy but I got him so I don't care. So MMS 147 Tracker Predator 1/6 scale collectible figure with hound. And I'm so glad that they included the hound with this figure. It would kind of suck if you had to buy the hound separately, but I love Hot Toys for that. I love the fact that they add um, you know, the accessories and what goes with the with each figure. It's only right, you know, you can't have the tractor predator without the hound, right? Because that's his dog. Where my dog's at? Alright. Let's not let's not go DMX right here. Alright, so the other side is pretty much the same. Nothing different. So you've seen one side, you've seen them all. And uh, oops. We're gonna take a look at the back, the back of the the box. So here uh, we have a black and white silhouette of the um, the tracker predator framed in black and white. It's framed in um in this uh, predator mask, which is pretty cool. So, and in the middle we have the headshot of the tracker predator himself. So I'm definitely digging that. That's definitely dope. And um, Predator. Here we have Predator or Prey. That's the question. Which one are you? I'm down with the Predators. I ain't trying to be Prey. I'd much rather be a Predator. On the hunt. Ready to murk. And um, below that we have uh, the predator number that you'll see on the detonator on their gauntlet so uh, I don't know what that number means but if anyone knows let me know if you read predator if you're down with the numerical system their whole numerical system and uh, of course there's uh, the title tracker predator 1-6 scale collection fi collectible figure with hound in focus and then you have your warning your choking hazard warnings and all that fine print which nobody reads well not me but maybe you do but can't be bothered with that it's pretty cool so all right so we're gonna um, take a look at the inner box with the sleeve off all right so let's do it Alright guys, so here we have the box out of the sleeve and I must say that this picture is freaking awesome. Alright, so to the left of Tracker in the background there's a black and white silhouette of his mask and he's looking down as you can see. That's amazing, that's pretty cool. The artwork, the artwork is Definitely top notch. I'm definitely digging this uh, whole uh, design. Okay, so um, and this is the actual um, live figure from the movie, the Tracker Predator. So, yep. I mean, it's 
it's kind of bittersweet, you know. You kind of want to see the the figure, the one six scale figure on the box, but you know sometimes it's nice to have the um, the actual picture of the the actual you know character. So it's yeah, it's kind of bittersweet. Depends on your taste and what you like in design and whatnot. So I'm not really that fussy, but you know. I know some people have uh, qualms about that. So, anyway, so um, yeah, this is the mask. Uh, we're looking at the mask of the uh, tracker here. Um, you can see the battle damage right here on the side of the, the left side of his mask. It's kind of like acid, uh, like acid um, damage, like, or it could be like a, a scrape. But either way. It's a uh, battle damage, and um, even the skin—it's like kind of looks like crocodile skin, you know. The details are definitely amazing. All right, so that's the front of the box, and um, we'll take a look at the side of the box. And just like the outer sleeve, the side of. Uh, the inner sleeve the inner box is pretty simple you know just you have the predators logo one six scale collectible figure right here okay. so that's pretty simple and both sides are the same so you know just show you same thing nothing different and um and in the back you got the tracker hound that comes with the figure Right, and this is an actual sketch, a black and white sketch of the hound, which I think is awesome. That's an awesome touch to have a sketch, just like a, a penciled uh, sketch of the hound. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. All right, and below that, um. You have the um, the credits, the production team, the Hot Toys production team that put work into this figure. And there's some f um, familiar names like J.C. Hong, Howard Chen, Joseph Sang, you know, Jason Wu. So you'll see these guys these guys names on a lot of the figures that come out you know pretty familiar names they're all Asian all Asians you gotta love the Asians I'm half Asian myself so that's my peoples my peoples that's how we do we make good shit all right, so that's the production team. Oh, and I also forgot. I'm just going to lay the box down f flat on the table. And this actually opens up so you can see the figure inside. Now, I have removed the figure. And I've already displayed him. So you won't see any figure inside here. But this is the figure. And um, all his accessories are to the right. This is where he was... He was um, kept you know so uh, you get a clear view of the figure when you just open the box so you see what's inside and here we have um, the tracker and his hound together and this is a this is a, a picture of the figure of the one six scale figure yeah this is the picture of the figure so you can see the articulation by the elbow joint and um, by the shoulder. All right. And he's got the hound on the leash, which also comes with the figure. Okay. And then there's a little uh, biopsis of um, the Predators. Uh, a bold new chapter in the Predator universe, shot under the creative auspices of Robert Rodriguez. In this story we follow Royce, a cold-blooded mercenary whose only allegiance is to those who pay him. 
Yada 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 yada. Tracker Predator, one six scale collectible figure with hound. Alright, so that's on the inside flap of the of the opening. Of the op yeah, of this uh, flap right here. So that's what we have on the inside. Alright. Now that's pretty badass. Alright, cool. So we've seen the inner box. Now it's time to look at Tracker Predator himself in a sec. Okay guys, so here we have uh, Tracker and Hound out of the box, posed up and ready for review. Alright, so let's take a closer look. Alright, so here we have a close-up of Tracker Predator's face, his uh, helmet. Now, what uh, intrigues me about this helmet and what I think is so freaking awesome are the tusks on his mask and that sets him apart from the other predators that we've uh, seen in this line um, it kind of reminds me of an elephant all he needs is a trunk but that would be pretty whack but apart from that he um, it's freaking awesome um, they actually um, come uh, disassembled so you gotta put them on when you get the figure they don't come on the mask you gotta put them on and that's pretty easy you just put them in the slots here um, at the bottom of the mask and they're uh, they are plastic or kinda like a, yeah they're plastic so those are his uh, tusks on his mask and that's what sets him apart and um, that's probably one of the main reasons why I really love this figure just the uniqueness of that uh, feature that look um, He also has uh, his mask is also battle damage as well So it's got a Sorry for the shakiness of the camera. I'm using my iPhone but anyways, um, so he's got some battle damage right here it looks like it's uh, corroding, kind of like an acid, uh, maybe some acid got on his helmet. Um, this definitely looks like uh, a blade swipe. So, um, but yeah, that's uh, the battle damage um, on his mask. And his mask, by the way, does not come off on him and uh, Falconer. And that's pretty uh, self-explanatory if you've seen the movie, because they don't show him on masks. So, and Hot Toys, you know, they're not gonna fill in the blanks and uh, make a face sculpt that's not uh, movie accurate. So, I can live with that. That's understandable. Now, um, he's got the infrared beams on the, uh, the side of his helmet. The three dots of uh, the three lights of death, that's what I call it. And um, he's got rubber uh, dreadlocks, um, like um, all Hot Toy Predator figures. And uh, that's pretty cool. It's good for uh, posing, good for posability. Uh, you can kind of put it in whatever style you want to achieve whatever look you want. So you can slick it back. Put it to the side, you know, whatever you want to do, it's your choice. And the eyes are black, uh, like just like the movie, so that's a pretty accurate uh, movie look right there. And um, here we have the shoulder cannon. Oh, one thing before I get to the shoulder cannon, I kind of want to. Um, look at the side of his, uh, his like his jawline right here and it's uh, it kind of gives you a feel for um, the color his face would be I'm guessing because it's green right here it's kind of like a, a lizard green you know so that's um, that's just something that I wanted to point out and also um, sorry um he's got little hairs like little black hairs um 
on the, the jawline right here. He's got some little black, uh, and they're all plastic, kind of rubbery um, little hairs right here. So I think that's uh, the detail in that is pretty badass. So that's cool. And it's the uh, same thing on the other side as well. So it's, yeah, so I just wanted to point that out. No, his shoulder cannon is uh, articulated, so it goes up, down, side, side. Um, the articulation on this is, it's not as, uh, it's not as good as, um, say, like the uh, classic Pred or um, the AVP Predators. So I'm pretty um, disappointed about that. Um, it's not really a big deal though, but I, I kind of wish it was um, it had more articulation. But you know, I can live with that. You know, um, so it is what it is. Still looks awesome, and the paint job is amazing. Okay, um, his uh, shoulder armor. It kind of. Uh, Kind of reminds me of like um, Japanese kind of samurai um, looking kind of uh, design with an amazing paint job, you know, the whole green scheme. It's, uh, yeah, it's just, just fabulous work on this figure. What else can you say? It's hot toys. And, um, He's got this bone necklace right here, and these are uh, these are these are rubber. It's not actual. It's not hard plastic. It's uh, they're rubber pieces. So um, just so you know, that's a little, that's a nice touch, just like the movie. And um, I think his outfit is friggin' awesome. It's an awesome outfit. Amazing artwork. Very good artwork. And this is um these are leather straps. I don't know if it's real leather, but it's uh definitely uh leather like. You know? I wouldn't be surprised if it was real leather. But um even if it isn't, it's uh still pretty amazing. And just the detail, the attention to detail is just outstanding. You know the hours put into this uh, this figure I gotta tip my hat off to these guys in China they do it up man they do it up and um, his um, the skin tone uh, the, the paint job on the skin it's pretty good it's pretty good pretty badass great job um the one nitpick I have about the paint job is um, these red dots right here. It kind of um, it looks a bit sloppy, like they just um, I don't know. It just kind of looks sloppy, like they just you know kind of use a fine brush and just put paint it on some dots. You know, like it just I don't know. It just bugs me a bit, but it's not a big deal. I just thought I'd point that out, you know, give my opinion on that. All right. So that's that. Um we go lower down. We'll see his um pre predator uh his predator underwear, whatever you want to call it, his jock strap, his cup right there, and um just this whole piece around the waist. Just the artwork is amazing. Just the attention to detail. Yeah, it's freaking awesome, man. And I must say, um, out of uh, the three hounds, uh, the three predators, uh, out of him, uh, Berserker and Falconer, he definitely has the best, um, the best suit. Yeah, it's just the nicest. Um, his suit is the nicest. It's, yeah, the artwork on it is amazing. You know, so much detail. Like, look at all this. That's 
freaking awesome, man. Look at the way the straps, they, uh, they kind of connect the armor together. I mean, it's plastic, but, you know, it still looks like it's the uh, same material as his, um, his waist, uh, the belt right there, you know? It's freaking awesome. He's got the, the leather bands around his knee as well. You know, it's a nice touch. Keeping it accurate to the movie. And he's got lizard looking for crocodile looking feet. Now, uh, with these um, predators, unlike uh, the classic AVP um, Predator 2, their feet are different. They actually have. Um, three toes and then they have um, one uh, is that like a dew claw kind of thing so it's four in total the other predators have five but these guys have a, a different uh, foot design so that's one thing I wanted to point out with this guy All right. now um, let's take a look at his gauntlets so his gauntlet is actually um, glued on. It's uh, part of his arm. You can't move it. You cannot remove it. And I think that's uh, I think that's a great idea, because personally, um, when they come off, it's kind of annoying to put the hand on because you gotta you kind of have to hold it and then put the hand on. And sometimes it's annoying, so it just makes it easier to put on the different hand poses and whatnot. You know, I don't think it has to come off. But I mean, if you're trying to, if you want to achieve a pose without any gauntlets, that's when it um, comes in handy. But you know, if, if, if it doesn't matter, you know, to me, I, I prefer, I prefer it glued on. You know, that's just me though, my, my taste. And um, here we have uh, his left hand, left arm, uh, forearm gauntlets also. Uh, glued on doesn't come off you know and then the hand sculpts are pretty awesome very nice very nice it's kind of like a UFC glove you know for those who watch UFC it's kind of like a half glove so that's pretty awesome and um, of course with the this predator line from the predators they just have, uh, they only have one gauntlet blade versus two um, with most predators. So it's just one blade and it comes th with uh, three different sizes. So I um, attached his um, jumbo blade, the biggest one. And it is um, die cast, it's, uh, it's metal. So it's pretty solid and um, yeah, it just feels, feels like metal. So. Yeah, that's um, pretty standard with these predators and their gauntlet blades. And um, the, the the tip is uh, not too sharp, you know. But um, I'll definitely be careful if you have um, small kids and whatnot. You might want to just keep them away from a, a figure like this with these sharp edges. You know, not a good idea to have kids playing with this figure. But why would you want your kids playing with your figures anyways, right? Not me. Hell no. Okay, now the base is a pretty basic Hot Toys uh, stand. So nothing fancy. Um, you know, I I wish it had a. I wish there was a nicer stand for these um, for these preds. But you know, it's not a big deal. Still looks uh, nice and nice and simple, nice and neat. You got the Predators decal on the stand and the nameplate tracker predator so that's pretty basic a pretty basic hot toy stand all right so that's um mr tracker himself and we'll move on to his hound the hound from hell this is one badass dog it's not even a dog yeah. 
dog like this, you don't need guns, bro. So this hound, um, it's not articulated. It's a statue. It's, it doesn't move, you know, so it's no movable parts. It just stays in one position. Yeah, so it's pretty much a statue of the hound. And um, just one thing, uh, all the spikes that come out of this uh, figure, you have to act, you have to actually um, assemble. You have to put in each uh, spike individually. So they're individually numbered when you take them out of the box, and um, you know you have to put them in the car the uh, corresponding hole um, when you're setting up this uh, hound. You know, so um, if you look, you'll see. Um, yeah, you'll see where you put the the spike in the hole. I think I gotta push that in a bit more, but you know I'll do it after the, after the review. Yeah. So um, and the the paint job on on this um, on this hound is pretty amazing. Yeah, pretty amazing. I find in the movie they looked a bit uh, darker. You know, I don't think they were as colorful as um, the figure. I could be wrong. I'm gonna watch it again and, and um, pay closer attention to the color scheme of the hound, you know. But I mean, it still looks still looks amazing. It's kind of like a a pit bull with a lizard slash freaking <laughs> dinosaur. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's pretty badass. And um, he comes with um, this. Um, this rock stand that he steps on, you know, for balance. So it's just a plastic piece. Um, looks like rocks, you know, that you can rest his foot on, you know, because he doesn't, he's kind of uneven in the way he stands. So that was a pretty good idea, you know. So I'll let him stand on that. Uh oh, there you go, buddy. Yep. All right, so that's the hound, and um, we'll look at the pieces. He doesn't come with that many pieces. Just uh, an extra pair of hands, um, closed fist, um, like a open grip kind of um, hand, hand pose. Um, also, uh, these are the extra blades that go into the gauntlet the gauntlet blades right here um, and these also these are also um, metal so pretty solid weighty you know nice weight nice shine and also um, he comes with a leash uh, a leash grip that you can attach to the dog's neck, or the hound's neck, and I haven't taken it out of the plastic yet, so I'll do that, uh, you know, in due time, you know, when I do more poses, and whatnot. So yeah, that's uh, and actually, and these um, and you can like you can actually um, move the the leash within his grip, so you can like change the length of uh, of the grip you know so they move inside inside the, the hand yeah which is pretty cool and of course uh, you get uh, an, an extra set of hand pegs just in case you break the ones on your figure and yeah that's uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, that's Tracker Predator. That's the beast. That's the beast. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope it was informative and educational. I say educational like you're really learning something. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. I'll be doing reviews for...
Berserker and uh, Falconer. Falconer right there. You know, and um, Berserker up here. I already did a classic review, so you can go ahead and check it out when you get the chance. So, more reviews to come. Alright, guys. I'm out. Peace. And keep collecting. Later.